How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is talk to you about why it is important to have a plan for virtually every day of your life. Uh, you, know, you need to have some type of a plan in place uh, in the event of something happening. And that is kind of the, I guess you could say, the preppers mantra. You know, it's something that uh, preppers, you hear from pre the prepper community and things like that, uh, you know, you always hear the talk about EDC bags, EDC gear, uh, get home bags, things like that. And there is much more to uh, what you may initially think in a situation like this. It's not just about having a bunch of gear at your disposal. It's about having the knowledge to be able to use that gear. And that's something that often gets overlooked. But what we need to realize at first, uh, the first thing that you should do is simply take the time to think about your life, how you go about your daily activities and things like that. Uh, just simply driving to work. What happens if you have a breakdown on the highway? Uh, you know, some people will spend a couple of hours a day on the road, and that's a can be a significant way from your home if you were ever forced to walk or whatever. Uh, you know, and would you have the necessary supplies to be able to overcome any kind of trouble that you might have? You know, I know that personally I've been stuck on the interstate before due to a wreck, things like that. It's happened to me more than once. And it's, for me, one of the things that I do uh, just because of it is I always like to have water, maybe some snacks in my vehicle. Uh, you know, you never know how long something like that can take. It can take just a brief period and then again it can take up to several hours you know wrecks do block roads and depending on where you're located at on that road at the time you can be sitting there for a while and it is terrible to simply not be able to get a drink of water uh, so that's something that you might want to think about and it, it's more than just that you know uh, if you were to get caught out in a snow I mean as of the time that I'm recording this video it's winter time and of course you know, we have to deal with some bad weather at times. If you were out somewhere, supposedly at work or whatever, and we all know that the weatherman can't be right. You know, that's something that we all know. Uh, you know, they may say that the forecast is nothing coming, and I know that's happened around here before, and then the next thing you know, we've got a huge snowstorm. And if you were somewhere at work or somewhere away from your home, then what would you do? Would you have the necessarily necessary supplies? Would you be able to get a hotel for the night? You know, do you have enough money or resources on you to get a hotel? Which is something that could be in very high demand during that time period. Uh, would you have just a change of clothes? You know, something that simple. And, uh, you know, trust me, guys, it, it can make you feel much better if you are able to simply to take a shower and put on some clean clothes. If you're ever in a situation stressful, uh, it's, you know, you're not going to get to go home for the night or whatever. That can make you feel much better instead of being in the same clothes for two or three days. And, you know, part of what we do in preparation for things like that, it's not just the physical needs, you know, at times it's also the psychological needs, just like I'd mentioned. Simply being able to change your clothes, get on uh, clean clothes, take a nice shower, and just clean yourself up a little bit can be a big morale booster in any kind of a situation like that. And I know that most of the time when we talk about uh, prepping, uh, you know, a get-home bag or something like that, we're talking like end-of-world scenarios. And not saying that that can't happen. In fact, that's what most of us prepare for. But what does happen at times, you can have a flat in your car. You could have a breakdown in your car. Uh, as I'd mentioned before, storm could come through and shut the roads down and you can be stuck wherever you're at. Those things do happen. Those are a, a much more of a reality. Um, a tornado could come through as came through Kentucky not long ago and people were just there's still people that are still devastated still trying to deal with this. So things like that do happen and that's why it's important uh, as you go through each day to have some kind of a plan when things go wrong. Uh, the old saying is, you know, better to plan for the worst and hope for the best uh, than to do nothing. I mean, it's just all there is to it. Because what that can do, if you have a plan, if you have the supplies in place, you can turn what can be a uh, 
bad situation into just an inconvenience. You know, it may be it may be an inconvenience for you to have to spend the night in a hotel somewhere because of a snowstorm. Uh, but if you've got you know, the supplies that you need, if you've got the resources, you know, you can make it uh, much better than if you don't. Uh, but guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What are some of the steps that you do each day in preparation of things that just could happen, just part of just a part of life? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, guys, hope you like the video. Be sure to check out all the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Check out the links down in the description, and we'll see you next time.